staring out the window, Lewis? That's a sign that something's going on. Nothing's going on, Rachel. Then why exactly did you make Brian Altman relive that horrible day? Which horrible day? The one where you treated him like shit because you were losing your mind. That day. You want to know what's going on? I'm being sued. That's what's going on. By Brian? No, by Stephanie. For sexual harassment? Lewis, this is bad. I know what it is, Rachel. Well, then we need to talk about how you're going to handle it. No, we need to talk about how you're going to handle it. Lewis, that's not a good idea. It's the only good idea. You need to go over there right now and put an end to this. I can't do that. Why not? Because I had a run-in with Stephanie after you did, and then I had another run-in with her after Donna fired her. She's not going to listen to me. It is sexual harassment, Rachel. I cannot have it on my record. Someone needs to convince her to let this go, and it needs to be a lawyer I can trust, but it also needs to be someone who's close to her level, or she's going to feel attacked. Then I think I have the perfect choice. I take it Lewis got my lawsuit. He did. And I'm here to ask why you're bringing it now. Because the things you're alleging he said. Alleging he said? Wow, I guess it's lawyer first and friend second. That's not fair. I'm only here because we're friends. And because you wanted to convince me to forget that Pierce and Spectre lit ruin my career. Stephanie, I know you got fired, but this lawsuit could destroy Lewis. Let me get this straight. The woman who convinced me to leave a good job for one where I was treated terribly, sexually harassed, and then fired is now asking me for a personal favor. Yes, I am. Well, I'm not in the mood to grant one. So you can tell Lewis I will see him in court. Stephanie, the woman I knew at Rand Caldor's aim wouldn't do this. Please. Tell me what's going on so I can help. I heard people here talking, and they said that I got fired because I couldn't hack it. Well, that's not true, and I won't have them thinking it is. Then close that door and sit down, because I'm betting that we can work out a deal right now that shows anyone who's ever underestimated you just how strong you are. Stephanie. Stephanie. What are you doing here? I've been thinking about your offer, and I was hoping we could talk. Well, we can't, because we're on opposite sides of a lawsuit. I know that, and I'm willing to sign whatever you want. I'm willing to pay whatever you want. I just can't admit that I did exactly what you did. Too bad, because if you won't admit it, I'll make a jury admit it for you. Stephanie, I'm trying to be reasonable here. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before putting yourself in a position to let a lowly associate wipe the floor with you. Wipe the... My reputation is that of a pillar of the legal community. So you're not wiping the floor with shit. Your reputation is that you're a son of a bitch, and I'm going to prove it to the world. No, Stephanie. The only thing you're going to prove is that you're the pathetic loser that everyone thinks you are. Because you just picked a fight with someone who is way out of your league. What delusional reality are you living in? The one where I make it crystal clear at trial that you were fired for cause and concocted this lawsuit out of spite. I didn't concoct a room full of witnesses who saw and heard the real Lewis Litt. So the way I see it, you're going to owe me so much money. I'm never going to need another job again. 